Andrew McKay off to uh, Maroochydore this weekend for the NAB Cup Round 3 and some big names back for the Blues. Yeah, off to sunny Maroochydore. Hopefully it's not pouring with rain up there. I think it's uh, the weather's going to be getting uh, or fining up, that's for sure. So it's going to be nice. Yeah, we have got some good ends. Obviously, uh, got Juddy back, which is, uh, a lot of people will be happy about. Got Nick Dargan back as well after his knee injury. Uh, Andrew Walker's also back after a little bit of a quad stiffness. And also Jared Wade. So it'll be Wade's first hit up um, since he had his op way back uh, last year. So got some good ends. We're resting a few of the other key guys that have been playing a bit. Um, it's all about just trying to get that balance of two and a half games before they start playing. So... Yeah, all things going well. We should have a good hit out up there. And going up to Maroochydore, Macca, it's uh, obviously great for the game. I mean, this game was sold out over two weeks ago, I think it was, pretty quickly, 5,000 people. Uh, it's also good for Carlton, though, to get, get around Australia and promote uh, the game in the club. Yeah, especially with the Gold Coast in now. You know, I imagine a lot of the people up there will be following the Gold Coast, so it's good for us to go and, out, go and flex our Carlton muscles, I suppose, and, and fly the blue and white flag up there. Um, it's amazing how much support we've got throughout the country, so I'm looking forward to the support up there. We've got a big lunch there on, on Saturday, so uh, hopefully we get a few Carlton supporters going along to that. But, uh, yeah, it should be a good, good place to promote Carlton and the game. And it is uh, it is going to be real, I guess, rural footy in a lot of ways because uh, I noticed reading the stuff, it's standing room and there's a grassy banks. And uh, what about for the coaches? Have they had to put in some scaffolding or something for the coaches' box and, and, and yourselves to be able to watch the game? Yeah, it'll be pretty basic, I think. Um, but practical. We've got a, a scaffold stand holding up a Atco hut, basically, I think. So um, with an open side, open front and all that sort of thing. But, you know, we uh, we can deal with that. And that's that's no problem at all. But actually make it easier for the coach. You can yell at the people on the bench right from the box rather than using the headset. So it'll be quite easy. Just a little word of advice too. Don't forget the sunscreen for all the guys, Mac. I think it'll be very important. Um, look, I know we've had the good news with some, uh, you know, four really good ends, which will be exciting for the, particularly the people um, up on the Sunshine Coast, but also for those watching live on CFC TV, a live stream of the game. Um, just can you update us with a couple of injuries? I noticed one in particular, I, I presume is an injury. Mitch Robinson, I know he'd done all the work, but not playing this week. Yeah, a bit disappointing with Mitch. He uh, just his back stiffened up over training during training yesterday um, and given the travel and all that type of thing we thought best not to uh, aggravate it anymore um, he, he's going to have some scans today and then we'll decide or determine what sort of damage if any there is but um, at this stage it's just back stiffness and we don't want him to sit on a plane for a couple of hours yeah. and then especially after the game we're Bussing it back to Brisbane as well, so there's a bus, then a couple of hours travel back on the plane. So, just trying to get him ready for round one. Still, um, that's a good plan for for him. Certainly, Jeremy Laidler's pulled up pretty well from his uh, injury last week with the dislocated kneecap. Had a clean out. Um, they just basically flushed his knee out, which is a good a good result for us. Uh, maximum six weeks, but uh, he was walking around yesterday with no pain at all and without even a limp. So that's uh, going well for him. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if he comes back a bit earlier. Okay, and uh, Gemmo, that is the other one. I mean, obviously, with Mitch, we'd be hoping he's right for round one. Don't know too much about it yet, but Gemmo, how's he moving? He's actually going quite well. He's doing a lot of running, which is uh, without pain, which is um, a really good sign for stress reactions. Um, often with stress reactions, if you do running while they're still uh, flared up, then it'll just make them worse and you'll feel that at night when you sleep. But there's none of that. There's no pain while he's running or sleeping or anything like that. So we're pretty confident that he's well on the way to recovery. And uh, just on looking at uh, Jamo and, and guys like that, uh, Robbie Warnock's the other one I think was probably very doubtful for round one. Is that still pretty much the case with Rob? Yeah, I mean, we're trying to get him up for round one. Um, it's a you know, a fair hit when you've had both shoulders done in the pre-season because obviously you can't have them done at the same time because then you can't move any of your arms. Um, but uh, So it's one after the other and the right one was done second. So that's just um, he's just building that up at the moment. We're trying to push him for round one, but we'll just see how that goes. Keeping in mind, we've still got three weeks before round one. So. Yeah. And finally, uh, Maka, we've got one more game to go. We don't know where or when that'll be at this stage, at the fourth round of the NAB Cup. We know we're not going to be playing the grand final of the NAB Cup. Uh, when do we expect to hear about that? Well, I guess the AFL will advise you. Yeah, they've told us that we won't hear until Monday. Um, I think a lot hinges on interstate clubs. Um, we're hoping it's at, at Vizzy, um, but won't find out until Monday. Fantastic for supporters, and I know, uh, I know, I believe Jamo's going up to Maroochydore, and uh, 
word is that we might hear a little bit of Jamo on CFC TV on the live stream on uh, Saturday during the game. Yeah, I don't know how Jamo's commentary skills go, but he might be uh, called in to do a few special comments, so stay tuned for that one. We look forward to that, Maga. Thanks for your time. Good luck. Uh, have a great weekend on the field and uh, help happy promoting the Carlton Football Club up north. Yeah, thanks, Kirchie. Hopefully it'll be a great game and a great chance for as many Carlton supporters up there to come out and have a look at us.